Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will understand what is drift and diffusion current. In case of semiconductors, two types of currents flow. First is the drift current and the second one is the diffusion current. We will understand here both drift and diffusion. So first start with the drift current. Actually, what is drift current? We know that in any semiconductor or conductor, there are lots of electrons and they have a random motion. Because of this uh, random motion, they do not have uh, the direction of flow in any particular direction. Because of this, it is not causing any current to flow in that conductor or semiconductor. But if we apply any voltage source to that uh, material, then we will have the flow of charge carriers in a particular direction and that direction will cause the current to flow in that material so this is the drift velocity so what is uh, before understanding drift current i will explain you the drift velocity this is the drifting of uh, charge carriers in the presence of electric field external applied electric field so drift velocity is given as vd it is the short uh, it is the notation for velocity drift it is given by mu into e so e is what e is the electric field applied across the semiconductor material here we are talking in the context of uh, semiconductors uh, here where the charge carriers are electrons and holes so in that case electric field is the uh, e is the electric field applied across the semiconductor material and mu is what mu is the mobility of charge carriers okay so whenever we apply external electric field to the semiconductor material then this random motion of electrons and holes converts into a motion in a particular direction at and that causes an electric current to flow in that in that semiconductor so this is the drift velocity and the current the combined movement of charge carriers here the charge carriers in semiconductor are electrons and holes so both of these charge carriers move so because of these uh, this combined effect of uh, movement of electrons and holes the current that is flowing in that uh, semiconductor is known as the drift current so if we see the formal definition of drift current then we can say that drift current can be defined as the flow of electric current due to the motion of charge carriers on applying external electric field now see this important relationship i current in a semiconductor is given by i is equals to n e a v d here n is what n is the density of charge carriers e is the charge on the charge carriers a is the cross-sectional area of the material and vd is what we have seen it drift velocity okay now if i divide this uh, i by a then i by a is what current density i by a is current density which is denoted by capital j so here it is i by a if i transfer it to this side then here we have n e v d okay n e v d and this i by a is j which is equals to n into e into vd vd is what drift velocity and uh, by the formula of drift velocity we know it is equals to mu into e mu is the mobility of charge carriers and e is the electric field applied across that semiconductor now since we know that the semiconductor contains both electrons and holes and in this case if i want to calculate the current density for both electrons and holes separately then since in the semiconductor we have both electrons and holes and uh, this part what parts are common for this this electric field electric field is common electric field is applied equally to both electrons and holes and e is the charge this charge is same on electrons and holes although it is of opposite sign opposite nature it is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb on electron it is negative and on holes it is positive that's the difference but these two things are different here is the mobility mobility of charge carrier okay how well they can move in the semiconductor how well the charge carrier can move okay if it is it can move easily then its mobility will be higher the mobility of electrons is higher in comparison to mobility of holes and n n denotes the density of charge carriers in that semiconductor it may be different the concentration of electrons and holes in the semiconductors so for separate uh, current densities jn 
it denotes uh, the current density for electrons and jp i have denoted it by for the current density for holes what parameters will be same e and e this is small e is the charge so i have replaced it by q charge is same the magnitude is same actually and e is applied equally on both because it is applied on the material but n and mu are different mu n is for the mobility of electrons and mu p is for the mobility of holes and n and p are separate because the concentration of electrons and holes is different for this is for concentration of electrons and this is for the concentration of holes in the semiconductor and its unit is ampere per centimeter square okay because it is current density current divided by area okay i by a now here uh, this is for electrons and holes current density if i want to find the combined effect um, the combined current density in the semiconductor because of these two charge uh, carriers so it will be the addition of these two it will be the summation of these two but why we are adding them if they are having uh, uh, different uh, charges because uh, let me explain you why we add these uh, why they are uh, contributing the current in the same direction let me show you it with the help of a diagram you see here uh, this is if this is a semiconductor and it has uh, some holes i have few holes and these dots are electrons okay these circles are holes and these small dots are electrons okay and i am applying electric field in this direction okay so it is having electric field in this direction this is voltage source v okay so because of this uh, we know that uh, force f is equals to q into e okay applied electric force would be equal to charge of the charge carrier into electric field q into e since electrons um, are negatively charged so on these electrons the force will be in this direction opposite to the electric field okay and on the holes the current will be uh, the force will be in the direction of electric field so it means because of this electric field in this direction electrons will move in this direction towards the left side and holes will move in the direction of electric field because they are positively charged so electrons are moving in this direction and holes are moving holes are moving in this direction but since this is negative charge and this is positive charge so because of this the addition of current will be will take place the current due to both of these charge carriers will be added because of the opposite nature of charge because electrons since the current is flow, uh, holes are flowing in this direction positive charge is flowing in this direction so it will give the direction of current in this way okay towards the right side the current i and because of the movement of electrons in this direction we know the current conventional current flows in the direction opposite to the flow of current so because of these electrons also the current will flow in this direction so i1 and i2 so it will be added okay so because of these uh, because of this the current densities are also added it is nothing but the current divided by area so we have combined these two n q mu n e n q mu n e plus p q mu p e we have added them and uh, now we will take some terms common from this addition we can take q and e common and in the bracket we have uh, n mu n plus p mu p okay you can see the last expression it is very simple q and e are taken out as common now we also understand so this is the combined equation of current uh, density because of uh, uh, electrons and holes in the semiconductor and we also under, uh, know that current density this is uh, extra information for you actually since we know that current density j is equal to sigma into e sigma is the conductivity and e is the electric field you know so j one expression for uh, current density is this and another expression for current density is this so this q this is equals to sigma into e it means if i compare this uh, sigma e by this side by this expression so here you see that this is e and this remaining part will be sigma just uh, observe it simply so n mu n plus this part is equals to sigma into e so this part is sigma so we can 
uh, have uh, another expression for the conductivity in case of semiconductors the conductivity is equals to n mu n plus p mu p in terms of the concentration of charge carriers electrons and holes and the and the mobility of electrons and holes and their charge this is conductivity since this is j its unit is ampere per centimeter square so this was all about uh, the drift current now the second kind of current that also flows in the semiconductors is the diffusion current so now we will see what is a diffusion current this is another kind of current that flows in the semiconductor we know two types of currents uh, flow in the semiconductor drift and diffusion drift current was because of uh, the external applied electric field but this is as you know this is by name that it is diffusion diffusion happens whenever there is difference in the concentration of something so here uh, this something is what the here it is charge carriers so if in the semiconductor we have a greater number of uh, charge carriers in one part of the semiconductor in comparison to another part okay the rest of the part then that uh, higher concentration side will have the tendency to go towards the lower concentration side so because of this this uh, concentration uh, gradient or this concentration different the flow of uh, uh, charge of same type will take place in the semiconductor and that will uh, cause the diffusion current to flow in that semiconductor uh, you can understand it with the help of a simple uh, diagram also let's say that uh, here is the n type uh, material okay this is n type and in n type uh, semiconductor we know that uh, holes are in minority uh, and i take example of holes here uh, let's say more holes are there and holes are number of holes is decreasing okay this is the semiconductor material and holes are decreasing as i am going towards this side so there is a concentration difference in the holes uh, in this region and in this region here it is in higher concentration and here it is in lower concentration concentration is decreasing as we are moving towards the right side in this manner so this is the concentration and here is the distance x so this concept is very simple so these holes will have the tendency to move towards the lower concentration from higher concentration and this will uh, cause the current the diffusion current to flow in the semiconductor now we will see some mathematical um, expressions for the diffusion current uh, for both electrons and holes separately separate formulas for both these charge carriers here is the formula the diffusion current density okay jn we have seen the current density due to uh, drift velocity or the drift current okay now the, here is the diffusion current density due to electrons and holes as i told you we will uh, see separate formulas for uh, electrons and holes for diffusion current so this is for diffusion current formula for the electrons it is given as q dn dn by dx since it is a uh, current density its unit is a uh, ampere per centimeter square current divided by area so and uh, for uh, i will explain you what these terms mean and in the same way uh, for uh, the holes the diffusion current density formula is given as minus q dp dp by dx its unit is also same for the current density now what we uh, mean by this uh, q dn dn by dx dp dp by dx here this uh, dn by dx and dp by dx are the concentration gradients for electrons and holes respectively here is the concentration gradient for electrons and this is the concentration gradient for holes concentration gradient means how we know that x is what x is the distance as i told you here in this diagram we are moving in this x direction and uh, what are n and p n and p are the concentration of charge carriers so n is small n is the concentration for electrons so dn by dx means how the concentration of electrons changes as we move in the x direction as we move in a particular direction x and here p is the concentration for uh, charge carriers holes so dp by dx denotes the rate of change of uh, concentration 
of holes as we move in direction x so dp by dx are the uh, is the concentration gradient okay gradient means slope so slope of concentration and q is nothing simply the charge on the electrons and holes denoted by q because they are uh, having uh, same charge and dn and dp these are the constants dn and dp are the diffusion constants for electrons and holes respectively this is for electrons and this is for holes these are the diffusion constants okay so learn these formulas now we have uh, separate formulas for electrons and holes diffusion current and also uh, separate formulas for uh, drift current for electrons and holes now we will see the combined uh, formula for both diffusion and uh, drift currents since uh, in the semiconductor the current is uh, because of both uh, drift and diffusion effects so total current in a semiconductor is because of the drift current and the diffusion current both type of currents are present because this is because of the concentration gradient found and this is because of the external applied electric field so uh, for n type semiconductor here i have uh, categorized them in uh, n and uh, p so for n type this is for n type only and this is this n type is uh, because of the drift current and this n type is for the diffusion current so the drift current expression for the n type was q n mu n into e and uh, this was q dn dn by dx we have just seen uh, i have done nothing uh, just added these two parts we have derived this uh, for in the case of uh, drift currents for the n n charge okay n charge carriers and this is uh, we have just uh, seen recently uh, q dn dn by dx diffusion current because of electrons and this part is uh, for the p type semiconductors okay these two are for p type and this part is uh, p p type because of the drift and the diffusion current because of the holes so you can see I just added them so this was all about uh, the different kinds of currents drift and diffusion in case of uh, semiconductors we saw various concepts related to what we mean by drift current and diffusion current how these currents flow in the semiconductor and uh, its related formulas we have also seen and derived them so i hope you liked the video and if you found it useful please click on the like button and subscribe my channel engineering made easy so that whenever i upload videos you can find them easily so see you guys in the next video with such informative videos thank you for watching bye bye